Hey guys, somebody sent me a message concerning Capture Technologies and I couldn't really answer it because it uh, was using captures within a Windows form and not like embedded in the website so I really didn't know how to handle that. But I can use a Windows Forms application to demonstrate how captures work. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I've done here. Um, of course I'm going to have a field up here asking for some information and then at the bottom you'll have the CAPTCHA uh, controls. So I have an option to regenerate the CAPTCHA image and this is all randomized here and then it's slightly distorted by pushing the CAPTCHA image up 30 pixels and left 30 pixels and also using a strike through and an underlaw. I'm just trying to confuse the bots if they were to try to programmatically enter this program and submit information. Uh, I didn't do a really good job. Not I don't really know how to make the text all wavy and stuff and pixely, but that's that's what I can do. So I'm going to go ahead and enter something invalid. And a message will come up saying that my shit is invalid. But I'm going to go ahead and enter something valid now. There's seven uh, numbers in total, and you have to enter them all uh, correctly for your information to be submitted, which it really isn't submitted, it's just an example. For the most part, captures are uh, words. They, pre they present words to you in the image. makes it easier for the user to input, but uh, just for simplicity, my capture class uh, constructs random numbers into the string. So I'm going to go over to my capture class and tell you what's going on. So I have two global um, declarations here, one's for a bitmap and one's for the code. Uh, I first set the code in the function and then in the second function I set the bitmap using that uh, randomized code. So I made sure that the smoothing mode was set to anti-alias to to drop a lot of contrast in the image, in the text, and then I give it a background color, draw the string, negative 30 pixels left and top to cut off the um, the text a bit, and the transform rotate didn't really work out for me, so I'll just get rid of that. Down here in the set randomized code method, I um, reset the code string to empty, create a random object, and then I iterate through a for loop seven times per, per character for each character, and I retrieve a random number from zero to ten, cast it to string, assign it or add it to the code string uh, variable over here. And here are my uh, properties to expose these things to the main form. That's it. If you have any questions about CAPTCHAs, please comment on this video and I will try to answer you as soon as possible. The CAPTCHA sample here will be on my samples page. Um, take a look at it if you're curious about the code. This is Left Tactical signing out.